I touch your heart in Jesus' name. You are free to go. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Me, I, I used to church here when I was working in Jobek, but uh, since I got a job out of Jobek, I have not been coming. So I just thought about uh, coming here to see the man of God, to speak over my life. And what was worrying me is uh, I was given an end of contract where I was working and I have three children that I look after. My husband that I divorced is not meaningfully looking after them. So the man of God, that's the issue that he addressed at first. He said, I must not cry for that man. God is going to bless me. He said, uh, the man is already sick and he is surprised because by now I was supposed to be sick. And I said, I thank God for him because I have been coming to see him and he has uh, given me a hint to say, did I go for testing? And then later on, I discovered that this man, he was already on ARFs and he, he once... When he mentioned, when he asked me, he said, did you go for testing? I said, no. He kept quiet. Like, today I got him when he said, a man of God cannot tell you A to Z. But when I discovered his ARFs, I thought of Apostle, what he said to me. I began to see that that's what he meant. In fact, the first, first time I came here, he asked me, why am I going to court and I refused to him. I said I never went to court but the moment I was divorcing it came back to my mind that this is what the man of God was talking about. So sometimes I, I got worried the way I'm uh, struggling to take care of three children when he is earning and not contributing meaningfully. Sometimes I end up thinking could maybe I made a wrong decision to divorce him. Maybe if he was there, my children were not going to suffer. But he gave me an assurance that I made the right decision. He said, he even said to me, I must not cry for this man. God will bless me. He said I must, he is already sick. And uh, he also told me something that made me laugh like Sarah. He said to me, it's like he knows me exactly. I'm always occupied in working for my kids. I don't even uh, disclose my status to people that I'm divorced. But he said I must not do that. I'm saying I'm working for my kids, what, what, what. <laughs> so he said God will give you another man. But yo, I, I just laughed <laughs> like Sarah. <laughs> yo, I still feel like laughing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just deep and relieved that what I was worrying about, he gave me a confirmation about it. And I can't wait for what God will do for me after this. Because even Prophet Andrews told me that wait and see what God is going to do after this. Okay, my advice to the viewers is if they can come and uh, see what God can do for them, it cherries through the man of God, through the grace that he has given to all men. They need to come. With who? What happened to your father? Where is your father? Okay. Can we start? And the contracts. Uh, it's ending today. Because it's like they don't want to renew the contract again. But I believe in Jesus that things will change. In Jesus' name!
for giving this woman a job. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Jesus. Uh, the reasons that make me come to Charis is I just want to immerse myself in the presence of the grace of this place and I want to inquire what uh, God says about my life through the man of God that I believe. When we, the servant of God was still addressing us in a group, he located me and asked me, where is my child? And I told him that uh, my children, they went for sports and he asked who did he went with and I and then he, before I answered, he said, where is the father? And I told him we divorced. That's the only thing that he asked me when he located me. But then when we, I went to see him, he was asking me that um, if the father is looking after the children. And I told him that the father is not meaningfully looking after the children. He was wondering why he is doing that when he knows he, they are his children and he also talked about the issue of the properties that we shared when we divorced and he also talked about the issue of my health the issue of my job and the issue of my business and he said he's going to pray for me and always going to be well he, he said that after this, I'm going to see what God is going to do for me. He said the issue of uh, getting jobs that give me contracts that are short and then they do not renew. He said those are some things that are small for God. I'm expecting to see the miracles of God that are going to happen, a turn around in my life. As I believe in him, I believe in the grace of this house, and I believe everything that he said. He only said, watch and see what's going to happen after this. And I'm expecting to see. Um, what I will encourage is, um, I will encourage uh, people to come to charities to see for themselves what God is doing through his servants. And one thing I can encourage that the man of God was always emphasizing is we don't come to charis to be helped by men of God, but Jesus is the only one who can help us. So what I can encourage is before we come to charis we need to have a relationship with Jesus for ourselves not just come as we are because Jesus is the one who helped us. So he only helped us by our choice when we ask him to come in our